My name is Brian Fiddler, and I am the playwright for the play Broken. Broken came from uh, my own personal experience of a grandparent with Alzheimer's disease. And the, the story has always been inside of me and kind of ruminating around in there. Handsome fella, isn't he? I like to think that we're alike. I was invited to Nakai Theatre's Play Lab three and a half years ago. I was helping my parents move when I came across this box. With David Skelton and a fellow by the name of Dee Dee Kugler this box of my grandpa's things. I had the initial idea to make a puppet show about Alzheimer's. It's all real. His real things. And I brought a box of the props that I thought would be part of the puppet show, and I was gonna construct it out of found objects. After I was done, the dramaturg said, I think that's your play right there. You just take objects out of a box and you tell the story of your grandparent. Brian's practice is really in, in sort of found object puppetry, as I like to call it. So those elements were really alive, and that was one of the things that I found really compelling about his work and about the project. Uh, it's really a theater of objects. So there were there's several props that exist that you will see in the show that were a part of the original reading that I saw, but much of it, much of it has changed along our journey together. Five favorite things. What kind of a question is that, Will? It takes place in 1985, but it also takes place in the present. The main character, who is the grandson, he is also the narrator of the entire show. So he comes out onto the stage and tells the story of 1985, the year that his grandfather descended into Alzheimer's. One, that you live in the basement. Two, big league chew. It's a kind of gum. Three. The thing I find the most interesting about this play is the relationship between reality and non-reality. Actual memory, false memory. It's really an interesting thing to watch as the play progresses and you get to see the different characters come out of Brian. And then you get to see actually Brian Fiddler, the person. I think it's a, a quite an achievement for him as well as Michael, the director, to, to take those worlds and make them clear and, and let the audience in on that five favorite things. Well, you, you're one, you're a thing. I'm joking, you're a good nut. I don't care what your mom and dad say. There is a, a meshing, a blending of what is true and what is not true. And right off the bat in the play, I say, parts of this story are true, parts are not. I've altered them, I've changed them. It is a good metaphor for Alzheimer's, like what, what becomes true, what memories are actually true and what are constructed memories, and how do other people play a role in um, how we remember things. I think an audience is gonna see something unexpected, something different than what they expect. I mean, the story is told um, through text, but that is not the only narrative element. There's a lot of physical um, choreography and movement happening in the show. There's the use of images, which are very powerful. There's, again, the, the prop work or the puppetry work that's introduced. Um, and there's sound. The lighting is also its own sort of character and life in the show. So you're, you're seeing, you're seeing an, really an experimental work that's using all of these elements to reveal the narrative of the, of the performance. Hand props, projectors, slides, the tripod, and this box over here, that's all we need to travel. So it's immensely tourable. You're going to see a show that is very, very, honest and will affect you. It promotes a dialogue or a conversation about aging, memory, and how we remember things. It wasn't fair of him to ask that of me. To break him out of the hospital? He was sick, he was supposed to be there. I was 10 years old for Christ's sakes. I think that people can come expecting to travel into their own thoughts just as much as they 
travel into the story of the play. If, if everything's working well, then they will be thinking about their own life at the same time as listening to a good story.